Now, you see that? And I always put one little piece just to get things started. Now I don't have to hold it. Now I can go ahead and put maybe another little bead. All right, I'll, actually I'll pick up that one little piece with my soldering gun. See how that just kind of snapped, that solder just snapped right to the, 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 the seam. Now I'll run my bead here. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. And that's how you join two pieces of uh, glass together. Okay, well today is Sunday. Um, nice sunny day today. It's finally warming up a little bit. At any rate, uh, what I did this morning, just to save some time, is I cut the, um, the sides here, just to uh, support the whole piece. So that's what I did. And I'm going to solder these uh, together, and I'll be right back. There's our finished, almost finished uh, product. We've got the nice little base going here. What I want to do now is, uh, is basically put a border around everything uh, instead of having just these pure uh, copper lines here, the copper foil. Okay, so I'm going to do that here in a little bit, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, well, it took me about an hour, but I finally put this little edging on, this little border, uh, around the whole piece, just to kind of finish it off. Um, so now everything's all silver. Now the final thing we have to do is basically turn everything, uh, all this lead into uh, basically so it's black. And we're going to put on what's called patina. Okay, so I'll show you that here in a second. All right, well this is the final step. It's my favorite step because it basically means you're done with the project. All you have to do is turn the, uh, the silver both the solder and in this case the, the little lead uh, border from silver to black. And we're going to do that with what's called patina. And I'm going to pour it in here. As you'll see, it's just a, a blue liquid. And I'm wearing gloves because it's kind of corrosive. But what happens is there's simply a, a, a chemical reaction between the patina and the lead. So watch this. I find a toothbrush works the best. See that? Personally, I find that pretty interesting. Okay. And I'm going to let that sit for just a little bit. Maybe a couple minutes. Okay, we are almost done. The patina has dried. I've uh, basically washed it off towel it off. Um, once you put it on the glass, it kind of leaves sort of a dull, makes all the lead lines look a little bit dull. So the last thing I do is I uh, have some uh, compound, some polishing uh, stuff that I put on the glass. Actually, it's not so much for the glass, but for the lead. And it basically kind of brightens up all the uh, lead joints and everything, all the solder. So I, that everywhere. Okay. We'll let that dry again for just just a couple minutes, and then I'll uh, remove all the residue. Okay. Well, finally, we have our product, our little ice cream cone. So that just kind of gives you an idea of uh, what goes on in the whole process. And if I zoom out, that piece 
course what we just made this weekend only has four pieces and my son of the moon has 160 pieces and everything that I showed you today I did uh, on every single piece on this one okay well I hope you enjoyed it hope you didn't fall asleep <laughs>